Hello everyone, Kyra here, uh, just bringing you a video, first time doing it with a voice. Uh, if you'd prefer more video with, with voice so I can kind of explain what's going on, let me know. So what I'm going to be showing you today is the North Pole build. I mean, it's basically just swapping uh, Charians and the Grimoire for the North Pole where you summon Alphar. Really the only major difference here. Spells that I'll be using. I choose Very Scary Skeleton and Summon Kelpie because they can add debuffs to the boss mob. So if they don't have the spell, it adds quite a bit of damage. I'm just going to pick a random mob out here. So we have um, Asteria. Go in. So first thing I do a ward just to make sure I don't get one-shotted right off the bat, like that skeleton did. I have to get the skeleton back up, because if I don't, the Alphar will fill up its slot, and I don't have the sacrifice, so that would be bad without the debuff. So now what I will say is, after doing quite a few raids, um, with the North Pole, I do not believe that the Alphar actually do a lot of damage compared to the Grimoire. I have seen that they've added about a minute to my overall raid time, which I mean isn't huge, but also the Grimoire's mobs can crit for quite high, especially if you get um, triple up procs from your trinket. So I am Charmer build, so I like to buff all of my summons. I haven't quite figured out if the summons use magic and physical strikes. I'm assuming when you look at the top that Summer Mages, the one with Candy Canes, the other ones are just regular Alphar with the pole arm there. problem with the Alphar as well is they have a very low health pool. So with the low health pool, they tend to get one-shotted quite frequently. So me buffing them might just be a waste of time. As you can see, there's still a bug in the game where as Charmer and you're trying to select one of the pets, you cannot and you can click indefinitely and it just doesn't work until the combat log on the side there disappears. Usually it's the very top mob, but sometimes it'll mess you up for just any of the top ones. As you can see, one of my Alphar just died after I just got fully buffed. So now you're basically going to just rinse and repeat the same style um, for the Grimoire. Just keep doing Rod as Pack to all your pets, or sorry, summons, I guess. Skeleton got one shotter, which is pretty typical. You have to usually summon him quite a few times throughout the raid. I feel like there might be some type of hidden mechanic where one of the raid boss likes to strike low health enemies, because I see it tend to strike the skeleton more than any other mob that I have. So we'll continue to keep doing channel and worm song, and then we will just Rada's pack that out. If an Alphar dies, we will just summon one more. We'll continue to buff if we have time. Again, might be worthless at this point. 
she's just one-shotting all of them anyways. So I'll probably just stop buffing and just start spamming Channel and uh, Worm Song at this point. You always want to keep your summons up because once they drop, that's when you are going to drop. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling here because we have to continue to summon now since he's one-shotting all our mobs. The Alphar is very low health, like I had mentioned earlier, so once you get pretty far into the raid, they're just going to keep getting one-shotted. With the benefit to the Grimoire, you can get um, the Arisen Gazers that are immune to physical, and you tend to not have to summon as often. So now I'm going to be stuck in this endless loop of summoning the Alphar. Try to get a Diaphic Channel in. As you can see, kind of at this point, the Alphar are not hitting that hard, so the raid is taking quite a long time. I was a little suspicious that maybe it was bugged for the T10 staff and that they were only doing the damage of a T8 staff. I'm still kind of suspicious on it with their low health, even though I've looked at their health pool. I don't know if that matters. I don't know how it's coded, but it just seems like they're extremely low for a T10 summon weapon. We'll see if we can finish out this raid without dying. Nope. Oh, I lived. Okay. Get a few more going. Come on. You guys are worker elves. You can do this. Get the job done. Without that debuff, I mean, they were hitting like for 4k to 5k's with the double down. Um, you know, they average about 15k's there. Again, not the greatest amount of damage, but it was just intended to be a cool event novelty item. So that raid took about 8 minutes. Um, on average with Grimoire, it takes me about 3 minutes to down any of these. Um, event raids. What I will say is that maybe if you're a higher level you could do the skeleton with Anubis. I am only level 34 so I do not have that spell unlocked yet but potentially if you can get Anubis out and he will then do his debuff with the elves mages up they tend to cast um rank 5 frosts, etc. So if he puts that debuff on him, it might do some increased damage. Again, unable to test that right now until I hit 245, but something to keep in mind for you higher level summoners. Anyways, that's it for now.